Is this equality true? Well, let's calculate. On the left, we have 4 times 5, and on the right, we have 12 plus 8. Note that on the left, we have multiplication, and on the right, we have addition. We get 20 is equal to 20. How can we visualize this? On the left, we have 4 times 3 plus 2. And on the right, we have 4 times 3. Plus 4 times 2. Now, if we merge these two rectangles, we would get a rectangle that looks like this one on the left. Similarly, we can also do this for other numbers, and not just for 4, 3, and 2. Which means that a times b plus c is equal to a times b plus a times c for all natural numbers a, b, and c. Is this distributive property? Almost. If this equality is true for all natural numbers a, b, and c, then we say that multiplication is left distributive or addition on the set of natural numbers. If the same is true when we multiply from the other side, namely that b plus c times a is equal to b times a plus c times a for all natural numbers a, b, and c, then we say that multiplication is right distributive over addition on the set of natural numbers. And finally, we say that multiplication is distributive over addition if it is both left and right distributive over addition. We started with an example and established that the equality is true. We also noticed that on the left side was multiplication, while on the right side was addition. We then visually represented both sides and concluded that the equality would be true for all natural numbers and not just for 4, 3, and 2. And that is how we defined left distributive property. In a similar way is defined right distributive property. And finally, we said that multiplication is distributive over addition if it is left and right distributive over addition. With that in mind, I leave you with this question. What is an example of an operation that is right distributive but not left distributive over addition? That is all for this video. If you liked it, click the like button, it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you next time.